Google's a big black box. So how do you get rankings? Through experimentation. But you know what? Even if you experiment, it doesn't guarantee success because of the three unseen laws of SEO. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down the three unseen laws of SEO. Now I have a question for you. When you guys do all this SEO stuff that experts are recommending, even me, what are the chances that your traffic's going up? If you're not seeing your traffic going up, leave a comment with no. If you are seeing your traffic go up, leave a comment with yes. I'm just curious. Now let's go into the unseen laws of SEO. The first unseen law is brand queries. Most people don't realize this. They think SEO, oh, you gotta build the backlinks, you gotta do these on-page tactics, and all the advice that I'm telling you and other experts are telling you are right. But the issue is, if you're not leveraging the other things that people aren't talking about, that Google is really focusing on, especially in the future, you're not gonna do well. And the first one is brand queries. Eric Schmidt once said a quote, and he was talking about brands are the solution. That's how you separate the good companies from the bad companies. And I'm butchering his quote, because I, I haven't memorized it. Nonetheless, if you built a brand, you're gonna be better off. You're hearing about fake news all over the web. It's not just a problem with Facebook, it's a problem with Google and every social site out there as well. So they wanna focus on the good quality content. The good sites that aren't pushing out this junk that's duping people. How do they know that your site has valuable information? Brand queries. If you use Google Trends and you type in your brand name versus any of the other competitors, you'll see how popular your brand is. In essence, Google is giving you the free tool that'll show you if your brand is going up and to the right, is flat, or is going down. And the goal is to keep growing your brand because the bigger you grow your brand, the better off you're gonna be, and in the long run, the higher your rankings are gonna get. To give you a prime example of this, when I wasn't getting too many brand queries, I had the hardest time ranking for the keyword online marketing. Without building any extra links, without changing any of my content, the moment my brand query started increasing, I shot up to the top of page one for the term online marketing. That's the power of brand queries. The second unseen law of SEO I have for you is user experience. It doesn't matter how good of a job you've done with SEO. You've built a lot of links, you've optimized your title tags, you've A-B tested them, you've written amazing content. If your user experience sucks, people go to your site, they bounce back because they don't find what they're looking for, you're not gonna rank well in the long run. Google's using what they call user metrics. Time on site, dwell time, are people hitting the back button right when they come to your site? Is there a lot of page use per visitor? All these things, based on when a user does a search and Google then compares that to all the other people that rank for the same term, it'll tell them if you should rank higher than the other people. Doesn't matter if you've out-optimized them or not, if users aren't happy with the experience on your website, you're not gonna do well. So don't just think about SEO as optimize your site, building links, writing amazing content. You also need a good product and a good service. Having a good product and service helps with the user experience. People like Dropbox and Slack, companies like that have done well, not because of their SEO first. Even Airbnb, not because of their SEO first. They've all done well because they've tried to create the best user experience for people. Heck, Airbnb even learned that when they sent a professional photographer to people's houses to take pictures, their conversion rates went up. People prefer that. That's an example of creating amazing user experience. The third unseen law of SEO is, SEO is gonna adapt, and as long as you adapt with it, you're gonna be fine, but most people aren't. Here's what I mean by this. I talk about things like voice search. According to Comscore, in 2020, half the searches will be voice search. But yet, no one really cares to read about that or talk about it because voice search isn't that sexy to people. Again, if you're not up to date with technology, the changes that are happening, you're not gonna do well in the long run. And it doesn't stop with just voice search. Think of it this way. Google Home is connected to your whole home. Even your microwave, your oven. As you're cooking on your oven, you can end up saying, hey Google, what are some recipes for pasta? I'm making it up, I don't cook, but you get the point. That'll end up pulling from search results. If you don't adapt with technology and where the world is going, you're gonna be left behind and you're not gonna rank well in the long run. So as long as you follow those three rules, you'll do well. But the moment you don't, no matter how much SEO you do, 
you won't rank at the top. And if you do, it'll only be temporarily. And if you want more help with your marketing, you can always check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital, where we help companies get to the top of Google, whether it's organic or paid. And of course, we make sure you're generating an ROI. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, tell other people about it, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll make sure I answer them and help you out. Thank you for watching.